thing that's happening with the film because you know everybody sort of keeps asking me this question like why do you guys have so much press why are you at the, all, all these events why are you walk, walking all these carpets when you haven't even shot a minute of the film and I don't really have an answer for it you know um, I think the, clo the 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 best thing I can I can think of to describe this is that people have from what they've heard of the story and what they've seen of the actors who are, are attached are so excited to see a film um, that has a very fluid uh, storyline and fluid as far as like sexuality is concerned it's it's a film for everybody and it's a, you know it's an underdog story everyone knows it's an underdog story everybody knows that it's sort of like a rocky kind of story and I think that they're just really excited to see sort of un underrepresented um, demographics basically um, play out on screen and then it's just exciting you know like these people that we have involved in this project who have come on and I mean I haven't really I haven't done a lot of reading for casting so far I've I've picked actors that I love and that I want to work with and I've gone to them and they've said yes immediately and it's like it's a director's dream because I I'm not big on having these really long casting sessions I really like to bring in the people that I know can swing already um, and so I get to go to these people and say hey this is the project and and you know everyone's everyone's really attracted to the script right now and so everyone is just saying yes so I'm not, I'm not used to people saying yes all the time, which is crazy. Um, so that's why I think that we're getting, you know, some press and stuff like that. But it's been so amazing for us because it means that by the time we start to shoot and by the time we start to release footage, we've got a world right now of people that are just, you know, cl I mean, clamoring. Every time I go out, every time I have to do an event, anytime, people are coming up to me that I've never met before and they've, they've seen the Facebook fan page or they've seen the Twitter fan page or they've seen the website or they've read a magazine article, they've seen Nicole on the cover of something, they've talked to Nikki, they've, you know, and so all, it's so amazing because I, there's a community of people that are coming up to me that I've never met before who are just so excited to see this film come out. And then on top of that, you know, their kids just, you know, these kids are already starting to contact us and um, not really knowing all of the story, but understanding that they're being represented in some way um, in this film and that we are going to do justice. You know what I mean? We're, we're going to tell a story that is about people trying to figure out how to love themselves, no matter what their sexuality, you know, and, and that's my, that's my goal. And I think, I think a lot of the stuff that I write actually comes down to, it probably is something I'm struggling with. Um, okay. Um, but basically, you know, a lot of my, a lot of my stories and a lot of my scripts revolve around the fact that the main character is trying to figure out at the end of the day, how to love themselves and how to be a good person in the world, you know, and to themselves and to other people. And so I think that people have already identified with that in what they've heard of the story. And then, you know, couple that with Nikki Castor and Nicole Payson. And, and everyone just cannot wait to see Nicole play this character. Everyone can't wait to see Nikki play this character. And so it's just, it's been an interesting process for us that, you know, we have a lot of support already. And uh, I hope that I can deliver <laughs> on that <laughs> promise. Is Lori Ambrosini a mega bitch from hell throttling this script? No. <laughs> no. I know she seems like she's all tough and she's, you know looks like you know a pimp and stuff but really she's like this big teddy bear who loves everybody and she's the most supportive and nurturing and kind woman that and I love her like you know she's my family and she is my family now because we're pretty much we did a you know we had a blood ceremony when we signed we signed tomboy in blood so we're tied we got know. married in Vegas we so. got married in Vegas and um, no, Lori Ambrosini is, um, well, she's my champion. She's the only person in my life, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years. And a lot of people have said, oh, Mel, you have good scripts. And, you know, we really like you. and We really believe in you. And you're going to be something great one day. But no one's ever come along and, and made it happen. And for me, you know, it's, it, you can't make that happen on your own. You can't go, I'm an awesome screenplay writer. And I'm a, I'm a great screenwriter and an amazing director. And I can produce the shit out of anything and watch me. And it's going to happen tomorrow. It doesn't happen. You have to have somebody behind you. And, um, and that's, what, that's what Lori does for me. She encourages me every day. And she kicks my ass every day. And that's, I'm an Aquarius. And that's what I need. Um, so she's awesome. And, and I'm just really... You know, this has happened in about four months because she's been on the project. You know, I wouldn't have been able to do this on my own. I tried. It didn't work. And, um, you know, so it's just been, it's been, it really, really, really makes me feel a lot of love. And, and to know that somebody feels...
feels the same way about the project that I do and feels the same way about the other projects that I do. And then, you know, add the team to that, the team of people we have around us who all feel the same way, and that's how this fucking thing gets made. And that's the only way it gets made, because otherwise, if everybody wasn't involved and, and in love with the script and in love with the project and knowing where we're going to go from here, then this thing wouldn't get made. But that's all because of Lori, because, you know, I, I didn't have any support before, so now I have support, and now I feel like I can do anything in the world. This has been a pregame with Mel Robertson. Uh, for more information about Queens of the World, check out queensoftheworld.com, Facebook fan page, Twitter, word, buy the DVD. Um, my, caffeine is my inner child. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know, I just like, I just like blue food. What, what of it? What? <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean.